Hello, welcome to another video. So, my shop, I did a bit of uncluttering. But, as you can see, it is pretty cluttered still. I never actually finished the Milwaukee pack out because it just started hurting too bad. It was painful to buy that Milwaukee pack out hurt for months and months and months. So, and I've bought more Milwaukee pack out since then, right? I buy it as I need it. But now that I'm getting this shop completely cleaned up, I'm going to need an order that's about $2,200 worth of pack out and a couple other items to... So I got a problem with this shop being too hot, so I'm going to install a vent and put a, a, a roof on top. I've got these primered random size, I think they're 2x6s and 2x8s. And you might think, well, why would you want to put those primer boards up on top of your shipping container? Well, the rodents have their, all this used to be down here on the ground, and they just were in that stuff. So it's pretty much not suitable for anything you'd want primed, like would be like an indoor trim and stuff like that. So it's going to work perfect for this. All right, stage one a shade roof out of scrap materials complete okay shade structure working nicely what my plan for this is is to completely have this side here maybe this side maybe it does one side be the rolling things i got on order the uh, gravity lift table for this i got a bunch of other gravity lift stuff so all down one side, just my rolling components. Above that, a materials storage. Possibly on both sides, but I don't know. I'd probably just do half. Keep, <laughs> keep the center open. This is the big goal. Because it just gets clouded, crowded, crowded, crowded. And then I want to basically get rid of that rack. I want to get rid of that table. That table, I want to build a one of those Milwaukee pack out little blocks on plywood. And so the Milwaukee pack out kind of builds the table. And then I can have stuff that just slides under it. And I'll maybe do two of those on this side possibly. Because you can just have a table and everything surrounded and then there's just a table there, right? It's, it's great. I've got just bins that's sitting in here because the heat and the cold, the heat and the cold, they just disintegrate these crappy, uh, inexpensive bins. Now I'm doing all the, um, I'm going to put a vent up in the back corner. I got the shade on the top. I'm doing the, I'm going to do a thing down the side and that's to hopefully preserve these better than those. Cause I don't want these to start looking like those, right? So by the time this video is coming out, this should be in pretty good shape. During the summer, the sun sets over there and just beams this here. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll paint it white or something like that. And then I'm like, oh, I think I actually have a solution that I already own. This El Cheapo plywood from a different project. And I still have some other scrap boards. So I'm basically just going to hang the sheet uh, plywood right over the side. Just to keep it like in the shade. So the side of the shipping container will be in the shade. So today was the day I was just about ready to start on adding the side part of this that was actually going to tie this in and the dust devil dirt devil just came picked it up and flipped it upside down so now i've got to uh completely i mean this end right here this was like this way so it flipped it like completely up out, like crazily like it's spun around and flipped 
Wonderful. I mean, literally, that's my project for the day. Is the this part that holds it to the top. <laughs> Jeez. Thanks, wind. So, because I'm stuck in the land of the iPhone, I set it up over here. I had my roof completely picked up, twisted, flipped around, and I put it all back with a backhoe, thinking I was recording it the whole time. But no, iPhone. All right, so the roof isn't really working as good as I would have hoped, because it's already warm in here. And like this wall that the sun is actually beating on, is up to like a hundred and two and it's about 75 out right now so but the roof is depending on where it averages from like 91 or it registers from like 91 up to like 98 so the roof is nearly as hot as what the in the direct sun and I have to guess is because that's touching there, right? Because before the wind picked it up and flipped it over, there was an air gap. So this would have heated up, but it wouldn't have transferred the heat all the way through into the damn wood. And then, you know, an, another inch or so, you know, it would have been a, a, a quite a different scenario. But now it's literally just sitting. So it gets hot, the roof gets hot. Nowhere near the, the uh, effect that I was hoping for. I mean, it's, it's only 75 out, and it's already, like, in here when I opened the door. It was, like, 90-something, right? I mean, so when it gets to be 100. Now, I, haven't, I have got an order for a, a roof vent thing, and I'm about ready to put up some stuff on the side. But I mean, <laughs> the amount of work it would be to fix this, like I thought about it I, before I put it up there, you know, like, should I just like, oh, well, let's just take it all apart and put it all back together again. But I was able just to slide it back in place, but upside down. So I'm like, yeah, the amount of work. But now that I added all this other stuff up there, like it would be so so much work this is a whole different story when the doors open like it's nice and cool in here now so there's some function of the door being closed versus open like the heat just builds up in there so quick even with the shade it still builds up so this is how i just used up a bunch of scraps I had laying around, I had piles of scraps just being infested by rodents and not doing a thing. So I was like, you know, let's just pile all this. And you know, it would have looked a lot better if the wind wouldn't have picked it up and flipped it over. This side probably would have looked pretty close to what it looks like, but it's minus the extra wood up there. And trust me, this is a wonky looking situation, but you know, it's just all about weight, all about, you know, putting, clipping stuff on. And I just put it all up here. Like if I had it, I would put it up here. All right. So if you want to see more piles of junk in your videos, you should subscribe. Peace. Thank you for watching my